If you've ever tried recording two people with two USB mics on one computer, you absolutely know the pain. Programs get confused, audio doesn't sync, and everything breaks. But today I'm going to show you the easy way how to record two hosts on two mics with one computer. If you have two USB microphones, you could technically plug them into one computer, but most recording programs can't separately recognize and sync two USB audio devices at the same time. So as a creator, I'd need to opt for an audio interface like the Focusrite Scarlett 2i2 and then plug into XLR mics so they're not even USB and then properly record two people running through that audio interface. But now there's a much easier setup. With Riverside, I can get two USB mics. I've got two right here. I'm going to show you. And Riverside will record each person on their own separate track. No syncing issues, no interfaces, no hardware, definitely no headaches. USB mic one, this is the Rode XCM50. In fact, it's one of my favorites. And I can just plug the USB-C cable in the back. That will then go into a laptop. It really is as simple as that. Now, USB 2 microphone can actually be my Rode Wireless Pro. Yes, did you know it can be used as a USB microphone? So here is the receiving unit, and I can plug a USB cable into this. And again, the USB-C side of this goes straight into my laptop, making two USB connections. I would then just take the transmitting side of the Wireless Pro, attach it to me, and that's going to work. Riverside automatically will detect both microphones, assign them, and also record in studio quality audio locally for each person. Hello there, my name is Mike Russell. I am showing you how to do dual USB microphones. Well, I'm Isabella Russell, and this is a fun way to do a podcast because we can sit in one room and record on two different microphones. I've got this really lovely Rode X with me, and you are recording on a different Rode as well. So, sounds fun. It is. It's great fun. And actually, this is my Rode Wireless Go, which is plugged in via the USB connection, which is really exciting. I'm noticing when I look at my audio level that I'm reasonable. But actually, Isabella, you are quite loud. So I might actually turn you down and see if that sounds better. I think that that might be a little bit better. Obviously, the microphone is quite close to me. Uh, it is probably also picking you up at the same time. So it will be really interesting to see how you can make it sound magical without the mic bleed that we all fear so much. Uh. Absolutely. I can't wait to edit this in post and see how we sound and see, most importantly, how we can use AI tools to make this sound way better. Once recording is complete, you can edit and it's in your Riverside studio as expected. So I'll just click the edit button right here on this recording. It'll take me into my studio and we can go through and make some changes. You'll see it perfectly recorded both sides. And actually, if I open it up, we can actually see both speakers on both tracks. Now, if I want to, where my guest is speaking, I can actually mute my voice so we don't have a dual microphone bleed going on. I'll do the same very quickly by selecting down here in the track and muting out that mic bleed. Ideally, in a recording scenario like this, you would position your guests a little further away from each other so that it's not so loud. And with that done, we can now easily play this back. Hello there, my name is Mike Russell, and I am showing you how to do dual USB microphones. Okay, first of all, we notice it doesn't sound so good, so I can actually go over here to my AI tools, and now I can enhance things by using Magic Audio. If I click Apply, you'll notice it applies Magic Audio to all my tracks, and in just moments, I'll get studio-quality audio from two very portable 
USB microphones. While we wait for the magic audio to process, let's listen to Isabella's audio. Well, I'm Isabella Russell, and this is a fun way to do a podcast because we can sit in one room and record on two different microphones. I've got this really lovely Rode X with me, and you are recording on a different Rode as well. Now, if I wanted to cut out some of that speech, I can just select it, delete, and then it'll go like this. It's with me? It is. It's great fun. And it will cut straight to me speaking. Now, you'll also notice that my audio quality got a lot better. Let's listen to me with Magic Audio enabled. Hello there, my name is Mike Russell. Now, that is incredible. That sounds like me in a studio. Let's remind us if we go into Magic Audio and disable Mike Russell with Magic Audio, let's listen to the original sound. Hello there, my name is Mike Russell. What an incredible difference that AI tool makes. It's absolutely incredible. Let's switch it back on again and make sure that I'm cranked up to 100% so I sound fantastic. Hello there, my name is Mike Russell. It's the same for Isabella. If we actually select towards where she's speaking, go back into the AI tool and disable the magic audio for her. Let's have a little listen. Well, I'm Isabella Russell and this is a fun way. Now, her microphone is definitely a lot better. She's holding a big microphone. I've only got a small lavalier microphone. Now we'll go back to Magic Audio and switch it on and make sure she's at 100% and we'll listen. It will sound even better. Well, I'm Isabella Russell and this is a fun way to do a podcast. So as you can hear, it sounds so much better. Two USB microphones, editing, muting out the mic bleed and working with Magic Audio to make things sound awesome. Really cool stuff, so easy to use. So if you have been overcomplicating your setup or avoiding recording in the same room because of mic issues such as mic bleed, you can't plug in two microphones and more, Riverside makes it ridiculously easy. If you haven't done so already, do click subscribe on my channel, like this video as well, and YouTube is showing a video on your screen now, you should watch next. Thanks.